The word viral is a widespread word in the age of social media and the internet. While browsing the web, you will see many people are getting accredited for their activities and sharing them. Sometimes these activities are worthy of watching but many may seem too lame. However, while picking up the attention of the crowd, some people and companies are way ahead of the others. It doesn't matter whether you like them or not, they know and show how things catch on and stay contagious. Hi there, this is ASM Fahim Moshed and you are watching Inside Out with ASM. In this book review video, I will discuss key ideas of the book Contagious, written by Jonah Berger. The author of the book is a well-known viral marketer who is an expert in marketing and social science. He has a PhD from Stanford University and is a professor at the Wharton Business School at University of Pennsylvania. Before going into the video, ask yourself a question. Have you ever thought about why a few ideas spark while others fail to reach our attention? Why are some people good at creating content that holds us to the end? Why are some companies always at the tip of our tongue while others fail to reach our ears? With all his expertise in viral marketing, Jonah Berger chalked out a six principle framework which he called steps. If you go through the six principles, you will know why some things catch on and stay contagious. The first principle starts with S and it is social currency. If you go outside and take your dinner from a local restaurant, you will surely not share it on Facebook because it doesn't look cool. But say you go to Starbucks and have a cup of coffee. You might find it cool to share with your network on social media. The idea is we share things that make us look good. And leveraging this principle of social currency, Starbucks can charge you way more for a coffee than the whole dinner package you had in your local restaurant. So like Starbucks, you can also benefit from this principle. To do so, you must ask yourself how can someone in your audience look cool by sharing your content. Jonah Berger advised doing three things on that. Number one, find your inner remarkability by making something exceptional and unorthodox. Number two, use elements of the game to make something fun, engaging and hook the consumers. And number three, through scarcity and exclusivity, drive the desirability of your consumers. Principle number two, triggers. Think about the song Friday by Rebecca Black. This song has whooping 161 million views on YouTube. Now Rebecca Black is not as famous or gifted as Taylor Swift but she leverages the trigger principle. People watch this song every Friday. Every weekend, they go to the music and now the song has around 900,000 comments. But if Rebecca Black instead sang a song on wedding topics that won't trigger much, you may listen to that song at your wedding or your favorites once, but you won't find enough time to come back to that on a particular day like Rebecca's Friday. While Kit Kat was facing a decline sale, they associated coffee with Kit Kat. The point is that they wanted to link Kit Kat to something that gets consumed every now and then like coffee. So whenever a person thinks of having coffee, he also thinks about having a Kit Kat bar. In 1997, the sales of Mars candy bar increased. They didn't modify any marketing practice yet sell spiked. After a little investigation, they found that NASA was planning a mission to Mars at the time to collect sample and data. People linked these two components and started buying more Mars candy bars. So if you want to leverage this principle, try to find out the right time and strike the iron while it is hot. Note that effective triggers are caused by frequency and strength of the link. If you can match them, you can stay at the top of the mind and tip of the tongue. Principle number three, emotion. Susan Boyle, a singer in a very awkward appearance on the scintillating stage of Britain's Got Talent 2009, who was at her 47 that time, generated a performance that was awe spurring for decades. While she was ridiculed by audience at her first step on the stage and later ridiculed again for declaring her dream to be a professional singer, Susan shut the audience. She performed an almost unrealistic performance of all time. The judges were moved and the audience was on their knees. What Susan did is that she played with people's emotion. Emotion is a powerful component that can assist your content in becoming viral. It can be classified based on whether it produces good or negative vibes. The most important factor, however, is the level of physiological arousal they induce. Awe, excitement, humor elicit as much arousal as anger and anxiety. By concentrating less on information about your product or idea and more on how people think, feel and react to a specific message, understanding arousal can help you generate vital contents and products. Remember, when they care, they share. 
Principle number four, public. Showing off is not something that you may like. In fact, I myself don't like ostentatious people who want to show off material gain. But in this materialistic world, you get onto the top of people's mind by showing off something you possess. Let's say you go to the library and open your MacBook Pro. People around you who generally use less expensive products may give a look at you. The glimmering Apple sign at the top of your laptop may easily catch the attention and they might think highly of you. When looking at car buying behavior, one element determining whether someone will buy a new car is whether his neighbors and community are purchasing new cars. He's more inclined to buy a new car if they all do. You may hear about the Canadian singer Sons of Maxwell. While traveling with United Airlines, they found that the airline's crew's carelessness severely damaged their 3,500 US dollar worth of Taylor guitars. Later, the singer duo sang a song, United Breaks Guitar, which got around 21 million views on YouTube and hit hard on the reputation of United Airlines as a customer centric service. You may say that this is the power of making things public. The idea of the principle is build to show, build to grow. That is, if you can bring something under the radar that the conventional people feel hesitant to talk about, you can erase the stigma around the products, services, and ideas. Principle number five, practical value. News you can use. People tend to share the contents that has practical implication. That is, if you create something that can offer practical value that allows others to save time, energy, and resources, they are more likely to share that. Of the six principles of contagiousness, practical value may be the the easiest to apply because its main theme is to disseminate useful information to help others. When you purchase something online, you will see the vendor showing you the discounted price beside a price with a cut mark on it. Through this, they acknowledge you that they are providing you benefits. If the offer is too good for you, you share the offer with your friends and family. However, if the price is over $100, you should offer them a cash discount. But if it is under $100, then you should give them a percentage discount. Psychologically, it helps. And the last principle, story. Blend Tech Company, an American manufacturer that sells commercial and residential blenders, went viral due to its exceptional promotional campaign. In their official YouTube channel, named Blend Tech, Will It Blend, they showed how Blend Tech Blender could blend a brand new iPhone. Why did they implement such an insane idea of blending expensive goods like iPhones? Because they wanted people to carry on the story they made. Just think, you are walking beside your partner and both are planning to buy a blender for your home. Now, you won't tell your partner all the blender's information that Blendtec produces and won't bombard her with technical information. You will say to her the story that Blendtec Blender can even blend an iPhone. How many blenders can do that? Maybe all, maybe none, maybe a few, but sure, Blendtec can do. So the idea of this principle is, information travels under the guise of chatter. If you want your content to go viral, if you want to be a person who wants fame, create stories because people like stories and they will prefer stories to unnecessary integrate information. Though the discussion is about making things viral, you know that you are already living in a world filled with viral guys. But remember, being viral and being famous is not the same. They're not even close substitutes. I have tremendous respect for the generation that lived in the world 50 years ago. At that time, you had to work really hard to stand out. Sometimes the famous people of that era may use some unfair advantages that I have discussed on my channel a few days ago, but most of them had to work super hard to escape the ratters. They didn't have social media to go viral. In today's age, it's easy to become viral but it's challenging to gain fame. Because fame is a long-term destination that is relatively permanent. Virality is a short-term popularity gain that people tend to forget quickly. That is why people these days are not diligent enough as we saw some decades ago. Making a YouTube video requires hours of script writing, editing, SEO, keyword research and heartbreaks when you find no one is watching. Instead, people are moving to TikTok where they come in front of the camera, stay for a few seconds, upload that and boom. They go viral. They get views. People who are studying engineering, medical studies and other technical subjects are putting extraordinary effort to bring good results. Yet a TikToker or YouTuber who are not even close to their effort make more money and fame in many cases. It's saddening, but this is the reality. So what are the key findings of this review? Number one, there is a framework of virality called STEPS which stands for social currency, triggers, emotions, public, practical value and story. Number two, to go viral, you must provide something that people feel is good about sharing. You have to trigger them with emotion. Come in front of the crowd more often and provide people practical value so that they disseminate your story to others. Number three, focus on long-term reputations, but you have to solve some short-term complexities for that. Respect the people making a real effort and don't go with the people craving for cheap popularity. Stay productive and subscribe to this channel. That's all for today.